I've been talking about a stock in regards to fibromyalgia, but today news came out about another stock, and today that stock is up over 100% today. If you wanna know what stock that is, you sit right there. Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Love bringing these videos to your attention. And this is gonna be a good one today about a stock that shot up like nobody's business, but other stocks in the space as well. So you wanna make sure that you stay here to the end of the video so that I can give you some alternative stocks to look at that's in this space. If you're brand new to the channel, by all means, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to grow. Uh, both of our channels, this channel and our live channel, if you haven't already known that as well. Hit the like button. That gets this video out all over the place. If, and especially if you do like the content and you feel it's useful to you, show the love by hitting the like button. And, but of course, hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted when new videos like this come out. So today, we're talking about fibromyalgia. We saw a stock that I'm going to get to in a second that went up a lot of money today because it got FDA approval for its fibromyalgia drug or situation. So we're going to start off with um, talking about what fibromyalgia is. Uh, fibromyalgia is a musculoskeletal disorder categorized by prominent pain that is usually accompanied by sleep fatigue, mood swings, and memory loss. There are currently only three drugs that are specifically approved for the treatment of fibromyalgia. Hence, there is a higher adoption of off-label products for management of the disease. However, increasing research and development in pain management is estimated to bolster the adoption of approved drugs for the disease indication. For instance, according to clinicaltrials.com, around 21 clinical trials are currently conducted across different stages to assess the treatment of options for fibromyalgia. So I've been doing videos on this channel for a stock called Tonex Pharmaceuticals, which I think is really moving the bar in fibromyalgia, getting a drug out there for it. But it shows that there's three companies out there that are already addressing that. Now, there's another situation that goes along with this. A lower number of patients availing treatment to impact market amid COVID-19. Because of COVID-19, people can't come in for trials, and that's affecting this space in 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 of itself as well. So, I'm going to turn around a little bit and let's talk about one of the stocks that I've been talking about here on VectorVest, Tonex Pharmaceuticals. So TNXP, uh, its main drug that they're looking at right now, which is um, their fibromyalgia drug, which is the lead program, TNX-102SL. Uh, right now, it's in mid-phase three, ongoing phase three for PTSD is ready. Uh, agitation for Alzheimer's. I'm going to do a video on Alzheimer's soon as well. Phase two ready and alcohol use disorder phase two. But their main drug is mid phase three ongoing for fibromyalgia. Now talking about coronavirus, how about this company is stepping out as well to a TNX uh, 1800 COVID-19, uh, another prioritized, uh, prioritized program right now, though it's preclinical. We've already got drugs out there for vaccines and how about um, Tonex is getting into that market as well. So that's two things, not only for fibromyalgia, but they're going after the COVID vaccine as well. And a lot of other companies are in that same space as well. All right, so that's COVID, uh, sorry, that's Tonex 19. So let's talk about the stock that shot up like nobody's business today. And that is Neurometrics. And it received FDA breakthrough approval today, device designation for treatment of fibromyalgia with its wearable neural stimulation technology. So we talk about what it is again, uh, and they've got a, a, a deal called Quell. Uh, let's see, fibromyalgia, da 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 Quell is an advanced, non-invasive nerve stimulation device that is covered by 18 U.S. utility patents. It is the only wearable neurostimulator that is enabled by a custom 
design microchip that provides flexible, precise, high power nerve stimulation in a form factor the size of a credit card. So a lot of what people with fibromyalgia go through is a lot of pain and this device helps to offset some of that pain. Quell utilizes position and motion sensing to automatically adjust stimulation for an optimal patient experience both day and night. The device supports Bluetooth, low energy BLE to communicate with the Quell app which is available on iOS and Android. The FDA breakthrough device is intended to help patients receive more timely access to breakthrough technologies and have the potential to provide more effective treatment or diagnosis for life-threatening, irreversible, uh, diabe uh, diabil debilitating disease or conditions. Under the program, the FDA will prov provide neurometrics with the priority review and interactive communication regarding device development through the commercialization, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So with all of this, um, it, it's the Quell device receive a breakthrough designation from the U.S. FDA for treating the symptoms of myalgia, fibromyalgia in adults. All right. So that goes from Tonex that goes now to Neurometrics. And then I did a story. I found a story that was a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, talking about four new my fibromyalgia drugs are under development. First one they have is NYX2925 from a company called Aptinix. Uh, the last thing it says is Aptinix plans to recruit fibromyalgia patients for larger 12-week randomized placebo-controlled study of that drug later this year. This story was done in 2019. The next company uh, was Virios therapeutics and the drug they have is imc-1 uh, next year's trial which would have been 2020 during the years of covid is anticipated to involve between 250 and 500 patients up to 50 sites around the country and then here it is this is two years ago tnx 102 sl which is the tonex uh, drug scrolling down the falls trial is expected to enroll about 500 patients about 25 sites around the united states remember then again this was back in 2019. And the last company is called Estella Pharmaceuticals. And it says here, um, when asked more information, Estella's spokesperson, Stephanie Prodose, uh, provided the following statement that the drug was in phase two development as an investigational therapy for treatment of fibromyalgia. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at those drugs, but we're also gonna take a look at the uh, neurometrics that, that made the move today. So now we're gonna get into the software. From here, let's go take a look at what's going on. So here's the stock sorted by our master indicator VST. So when we put any stocks into a watch list into the VectorVest system, they're already sorted so that the stocks that have the best combination of value, safety, and timing will automatically rise to the top of the list. Notice where Neuro hits, look at that, 169% today. And where does TNXP sit at the bottom of the list by VST? But I'm still going to show you from a technical standpoint why I still like like TNXP, it is still more prevalent in the news. Now, remember that story was done in 2019. Two years later, TNXP or Tonex Pharmaceutical is a stock that still is out there. And again, I've done several videos. If you haven't watched them, please go back in our channel and watch the videos that I've done on TNXP. But we're going to also look at the other stocks that were there in that story as well. So let's go graph them all real quick. Let's go put them all on a three month graph. So this neuro was strictly news driven. Does it have sustainability? Well, let's talk about that. The stock's price yesterday, if you were in it, closed at a price of $10.04. Today, with the FDA approval, went all the way up to about almost 40 bucks, $38.67. So is that sustainable? Look at the big wick at the top of that. This was all news driven, a lot of profit taking for people who were sitting in that. And, and it, it's got the FDA approval. And I, I think it was sort of kind of by accident. That's my thinking, uh, because I had not ever seen this in uh, the pipeline to be even set up for FDA approval for fibromyalgia. All right, let's go to the next drug, which is ALP. MY Estella Pharmaceutical. And now remember, that story was done a couple of years ago. I'm going to put this on a one year graph, a little topsy turviosity going on with it. But if you're looking at this graph from that perspective, the stock is definitely hitting higher highs and definitely, 
hitting, ah, you know, I can make this look any way I want it to look. It looks like it's got an upward trend. It does have higher lows. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to take that off. And if I look at it, put it on a three month graph, the 388 just went bullish coming off a level of support that was sitting at a value of $16.53, moving up. Just be careful with it. Would love to see it take out that high, but it is moving higher. RT is above the value of one. Let's go to Virios Therapeutics, uh, also in the fibromyalgia field. Look at that though, coming off of the high, hitting uh, lower highs. The stock is bouncing off a level of support, sitting at the value of $5.53. The three and the eight haven't crossed yet. I like using three and eight exponential moving averages to help me from a technical standpoint in getting into a stock. I would wait on this. It is in that space. I haven't seen a lot of other news on it just quite yet. That's all right. I'm going to keep my eyes on all of these stocks actually going forward. The next company, Appentix or Aptinix. Aptinix. Now, I do like this. The stock had a big uh, move on 611 of 2021, a lot of profit taking, pulled back, pulled back, found a level of support sitting at $2.56. I do like that the three and the eight is getting ready to cross. I like the open candle. I've got a level of resistance right now at 279 and I've got an RT still below one, but rising, I'm not feeling volume right now. But all of these stocks, I will keep on my radar. And as new stories come out about them, I will release them to you. And here's the Tonex Pharmaceutical. Tough stock to sit through after all of the videos that I've done. Tough, tough, tough. But could be setting up right now. TNXP could be setting up right now. Coming off a level of support sitting at about, looks like 94 cents, I think. 94 cents. Look at the big open day today. Look at the three and the eight about to cross. RT is still below one. Uh, volume is at least pretty steady. Not above the average volume, but pretty steady. Keep your eyes right now getting set up on TNXP. Remember, this one is getting ready to hit phase three. Um, and I'm looking in between this stock and my other stock I like in this space, uh, in the healthcare space is Sensionics. I'm probably going to do a new video on Sensionics soon as well. But TNXP today is setting up. Look at the three and the eight. Look at the nice open candle today. So there you go. All right. So I wanted to bring that story out because Neurometrics was rocking and rolling today. So I wanted to look at other stocks in that space to give you some alternatives to look at or companies to keep on your radar. So uh, I'll follow up on these stocks as new news comes out. But fibromyalgia is an issue. Fibromyalgia is an issue. And it looks like um, these are the companies that are aggressively going after that. And the next FDA approval can prove to be another neurometrics and you probably want to be in it before that happens. So folks, this video is over until the next time. See ya.